Hi, I'm Pete May, president of Green Biz Group, and I'm delighted to be here on Green Biz Studio with Cecily Joseph of Symantec, a company that I, going back to when I used to work in tech magazines, have known of Symantec for for years. But it's great to be uh, great to be engaging you here. Um, your uh, title, your vice president of corporate responsibility, and I know a big component of that is diversity. Certainly, we're hearing a lot about the diversity issue in Silicon Valley. Um, so tell us, what's first of all, what's going on in terms of diversity you're hearing about in Silicon Valley and specifically at Symantec? Great. So, um, yeah, so at Symantec, we've been involved in diversity and building out diversity programs and partnerships around diversity for a lot of years. And it's been a big focus of ours. I would say most recently, it's become a really big focus of the mm. tech industry. Yep. And the tech industry realizes that we as a whole need to do better around diversity. We, we are beginning to really understand the business case mm -hmm. and being able to kind of explain that to yep. the business. And I think as, as companies, what we is realize- the, In a nutshell, what is the business case well, for Well, the diversity? business case is that when you have a more diverse and inclusive workforce, right. you are more competitive because you're more innovative. You, ha or you have the ability to attract a broader talent pool. I mean, there's a war on talent in tech, yep. and we're all going after the best and the brightest. And when you can cast that net wider and bring more women and people of color to your company, you win, yep. right? So yep. so that's the business case, and we're, we get that, and I think we're all trying to figure out how to do this right. Right, so Cecily, I was reading, there's the CEO Action for Diversity and Inclusion, uh, a group I was reading about, I think Symantec is a part about, is part of, what, tell us all about it, that and yes. your involvement. So the CEO Action for Diversity and Inclusion is a pledge, essentially, that uh, over 300 CEOs have signed up to, signed their companies up to, where they are embarking on what I would call collective action for diversity. So they are working to start and engage in dialogues inside mm -hmm. their companies more around right. the topic of diversity. They're looking to build more inclusive cu cultures by tackling mm. bias. Yeah. And so really integrating unconscious bias trainings and learnings oh. throughout their businesses. Are there specific metrics or uh, measurement to bring teeth to this? Well, or I would say the last piece is really about being willing to be transparent. So being transparent about what's working and also yeah. what's not. And yeah. there, and there, I would say this is more about learning. So, so these companies and CEOs coming together where they share their practices, they learn from each other, and they sort of are working together on how they can, can move the needle on diversity. Yeah, interesting. Um, so that's, that's a very interesting piece. And the other thing that we're seeing at Green Biz is, you know, we've always tried to look at sustainability holistically. Certainly the environmental piece is a big part of that. But tell us about, particularly in light of the SDGs, what role, how is diversity dovetailing with sustainability as it relates to the SDGs and specifically what are you doing, what is Symantec doing about that? Yeah, so um, I think you would agree that the SDGs are very ambitious goals yeah, for all right. of us, you know, for our for society as a whole. And I don't think, so first I just start by saying, I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna achieve them if we don't have more diverse, diverse and inclusive community of people working yeah. on them. Right, So we need to make sure that we have everyone at the table working towards solutions for the SDGs right, and tackling those tough issues. Um, but then I'd say secondary, a lot of the SDGs are about diversity and inclusion. So if you think about some of the specific SDGs, they're, they're actually tied to diversity and inclusion. So if you look at SDG number four, hmm. which is about quality education, right. it's making sure that there's a quality education for everyone. So the way that, for example, at Semantic, we might interpret that is building programs and partnering with, with organizations to bring education and workforce development, skills building to women, people of color in tech that wouldn't normally have access. Yeah. Or we might, we're, we're working on a project in Pune, India, where we're looking at women and people with disabilities in slums, and ha what kinds of careers can we help build in the technology sector to bring the, this, this, these demographics into. Yeah. So that's how we might think about the SDGs. Obviously, SDG number five, is all about gender equality. Yeah. I mean, we get that that's about diversity and women's empowerment around the world. And so I think as companies, we all need to 
start thinking about diversity if we're going to think about the SDGs. Yeah, well, that's great. This is a great topic. You know, on, at Greenbiz, we have lots of different conversations. I think the diversity one is is one that has just kind of started, and we look forward to uh, to carrying that forward. And thanks for joining us here. Well, thanks, thank Esther. you. Thank yeah. you very much.